forest the pristine green cover of our mother nature nurturing all her living creatures with oneness in every possible way she can and forestry is its soul and we the students of forestry were blessed enough to pursue her pure soul all credits to the foway program as per the regulations of icar under fifth dean committee as a part of study ready program module with the objective of hands on training exposure and forest work experience to enhance the quality and capability of students we the students of final year of college of forestry sirsi were attached to karwar forest division of karnataka forest department for the hands on experience of four way program for a period of 14 days we were provided with every possible ways to get involved in various off and on field activities from the very ground to the crest of the forest department in this short span of 2 weeks it made us to explore and understand the theoretical knowledge that we have gained throughout one forestry degree program the precious moments with the mother nature are wholeheartedly spent with the evergreen semi evergreen deciduous forests mangroves along with the myristica swamps and coastal belts our journey begins with the nursery activities as the nurseries are the foundations for the future forests and their wellness we were indulged in bed preparation seed sowing potting mixture preparation grading bag filling and other activities boundary perambulation to protect the vastness of the forests a boundary plays a very important role in its sole process of protection during this activity we learned about the permanent demarcation structures along with understanding the maps and knowing the key aspects of protecting the originality of the forests and the day goes with visit to a cane plantation the canes are one of the indicators of semi evergreen forests which are the climbing palms and are having the various traditional ntfp applications we were informed about its spacing and habitat conditions for its prolific growth depots the reservoir of wood source of income and driving source of forest department and we were fortunate enough to involve in knowing the processes procedures and the activities which are being carried out in depots like different forms used for transportation and registers maintained the staking process and the option of timber through the e timber website forest fire is one such hazard which results in vast destruction of forest wealth we had a hands on training on using the blower instrument which is a boon for the front line staff in creating fire lines for that most protection and preservation of the forest to be an eminent forest officer it is important to have knowledge of both field work and official procedures involving all the table work register maintenance forest offense cases related documentations and we were subjected to different office procedures registers and the comprehensive information about proceedings of any forest offense cases along with that they also shared us knowledge on various plantation modules the importance of coastal plantations a basic information about mangroves and the information about establishment 
license registration and the procedures in a sawmill. Mangroves, the guardians of the coast, they grow where the river meets the sea. The alien world of mangroves never fails to surprise us with its rich ecosystem and its support to the aquatic life. The mesmerizing experience of planting the propagules of Candelia candle was a lifetime opportunity. Meristica swamps, which were once widespread across the west coast, are now a fast-shrinking, fragmented and endangered ecosystem. They play a key role in maintaining the perennial stream flow and possess higher potential to store carbon than any other forest in the central western ghats of Karnataka. Visiting the swamps left a clear impression on us regarding their importance and conservation of this unique habitat. For the proper protection of forest and its biodiversity, the involvement of the public along with the forest department should go hand in hand. The local cooperation with the forest department ensures the minimal damage to the forest area. An initiative that encourages this concept is Village Forest Committees. The Village Forest Development Fund and Village Development Fund which are being raised provides a support for the livelihood of local people and it also provides protection for our forests. The practical interactions with the public made us realize that the VFCs have become an inseparable part of administration of Karnataka Forest Department. Marine habitat, the treasury of majority of faunal diversity on earth. During our visit to the Marine College of Karwar, we acquired the knowledge about the importance of marine ecosystems. It is a major source of carbon sink as it accumulates about 60% of the total atmospheric carbon. It plays an important role in providing the livelihood for the people in and around the coastal regions. Turtle conservation, which felt like a whole new world to us. It was the best example of conservation with local participation. The people were given rewards in return for informing about the turtle nests. The forest department officials will then collect and hatch them, finally releasing it to the sea. The tiny little hatchlings were eager to enter the sea, where they spend most of their life, but only one out of 1000 make it to their adulthood. It was a heartwarming experience for all of us and we were lucky enough to involve in the conservation of these beautiful creatures. were mesmerized by the beauty of Karwa. It is truly the Kashmir of Karnataka. For the conservation and protection of this huge forest area, Karwa Forest Division is striving hard in its every possible way to give its best. We thank Karwa Forest Division, Karnataka Forest Department and College of Forestry Sirsi for giving us 
this wonderful opportunity to explore and learn the key aspects of nature and we assure that this will be remembered till the end of our days.